a lot of people that watch this want to know how can they get their youngsters to read? Uh, well, I think, I think there are a lot of things. One, you, you got to take responsibility for it. It's not the school's job to get your kids reading. It's your job. And we all, look, we make our kids, we won't, you know, don't put mud on the rug and you have to come to dinner. And probably among the most important things is getting your kids reading. Because if they're not reading, they're going to go out into the world and they're going to be, they're going to have a big disadvantage. They have to at least be competent readers. Um, they're not, they won't get into the best schools. They won't get the better jobs, whatever. So it really is incumbent on us to make it happen. With Jack, uh, our son, uh, when he was eight or so, uh, he wasn't, he's a bright kid, he wasn't a big reader, and we said, you're going to read every day. And he said, do I have to? He said, yeah. Mm -hmm. By the end of the summer, like he'd, a read chore. A, he'd read a, a dozen books. He loved all of them. And, you know, when he took his SATs, he got an 800 in reading. Uh, and that's, it doesn't have to go that way, but I mean, it's, it's going to get better and, and, and it's doable. You just have to enforce it in the house in a good way. But I mean, the key thing is give them books they're going to like. Kids will right. like Alley Cross.